Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to resize your photos or footage in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get more views on your videos and get your videos discovered on YouTube, then you should download this free video SEO explained ebook linked in the description below and in the card in the top right hand corner of this video. You can also find it at growonyoutube.com forward slash guide. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And I got a question a little while ago. Let's, let's actually find that question. So so oh, Ethel Menard Monago, that's how I'd pronounce it. It might be Monagio. I'm not sure. I think it's Ethel Monago says, thank you for this vid, but can you help me? Because when I put the image in the video, it seems like the image is too big. I want to resize it, but there's no tool for that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this was on my video, how to add pictures to your videos, how to animate pictures tutorial. So yeah, let's, let's show her how to do that, how to resize photos and footage also it's quite easy pretty straightforward there are a few ways to do it so i'm going to show you the few ways i think there's two ways actually i keep on saying few when there's two there's two ways as far as i know there may be more i did actually film this video before but for some reason i've lost the footage i don't know where it is so let's actually turn on this photo layer this is my apple iphone image and the easiest way to resize this is to just quickly go to effect controls and scale down. And now you've resized your photo. That is done. You can scale down by either, you know, using your mouse and going left and right, or you can actually click and put in a specific size if that's what you want to do. And then you can kind of experiment with it. But I think, you know, just using this, using the scroll thing can get you, it's easier to get to the size that you actually want to get to. And then you can also move it around, but I've already showed you how to do that, but you can like move it over here so that, you know, your pictures are in the right place. And that's how you scale and resize your, your photos. You can also do that with your footage. Let's quickly do that with this clip. There you go. Scale down, scale up. <laughs> pretty, pretty easy. Uh, got very, very close to my face there. That was a bit awkward. <laughs> so let's show you the other way to scale stuff up. So the other way is to basically you need your photo to be on top of pretty much everything in your composition. Otherwise, this won't work because generally when you use this tool, it will select whatever's on the top of the composition. So right about now we use, we're using the hand tool. So you wanna get the hand tool and then you want to double click on the picture in question. So for example, as I said, if we did not have this in, uh, in the right place up here, then it will not operate this way. So for example, if I put my footage on top of the, well, obviously, then you're not even going to see that. Hmm. Well, forget that. Let's just, just take my word for it. Innit? Take my word for it. Make sure that the picture's on top of your composition. Let's do that. And then you want to get the hand. You want to double click it. And now you can freely scale and move the image where you want to move it. Scale it up. Move it over there. Move it over here. Move it all around. And you can even block out my face and just make me an iPhone that's what you really want to do and that is how you resize your photos your images your footage in adobe premiere pro cc i hope this video helped you guys out if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials that you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next adobe premiere pro tutorial if you want to upgrade your editing and help out the channel, then go to growonyoutube.com forward slash red giant now. Red giant make a bunch of plugins that make complicated editing techniques easier. The titles and transitions that you've just seen were created using Red Giant Universe. Red Giant plugins like Universe and the Magic Bullet Color Suite help me save time and allow me to create professional looking content for you guys. The best thing is that you can try their plugins out for free. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Red Giant to try those plugins out for free now. 
If you decide that you like their plugins after trying them out for a bit, you can use the code JCARTARAY for 10% off your purchase. Get your free trial of any of these awesome plugins now and make your editing life easier at growonyoutube.com forward slash red giant. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.